When I was a dancer, it was just, I couldn't wait to get on there, you know what I mean? So I, I think that, yeah, I think the anticipation of, you know, being number eight may take a little bit more when you hear the responses and see the other pieces, it might put some pressure on them. But I just all the, always tell them to stay in their own intention, to keep themselves focused on their, on their time. I was kind of happy, you know, where we were. I'm glad we weren't first, yeah. you know. <laughs> but I was glad because, you know, the beginning of the show, you're excited, and then, you know, going into it, you still have that excitement, you still have that energy, you still have that adrenaline to carry you to the routine, you know, to keep you zoned out and ready to do your thing. So I was happy with going uh, early in the show. To sit there and wait, it just gets your nerves going, and I'm just glad we got it out the way. And that was the best thing, is we got off stage, and we were both like, wait, we don't want that to be the last time, we want to do it again. There were so many beautiful pieces on the show tonight. Obviously, Jason's piece with Cole and Lindsay, Travis's piece, Sonya piece, Tabin Napoleon's piece. The piece before us was so brilliant, and we had to top that, and we're the last thing in the whole show, so you know, everyone's comparing us to all the other pieces, so it's like, it, it was inspirational and also intimidating at the same time. Tonight, just what, I, you know, looking down at my monitor, there were moments that I thought were so unbelievably magical between the camera and the choreography and the performance. I think this show does a really great job of carrying the energy out of the room, you know, through the television screen. You really make the cameras one of the dancers. For this particular piece, everything was very staged. You know, you want to sit back and just watch all the visuals. When we're dancing, we feel like we're really full out and we watch the playback. It's almost like everything needs to be like 10 times more full out for it to read on camera. So it's definitely something that we need to like get used to. You know, you can have a great audience for a normal show, but for television, it's way different. And I feel my stage presence has gotten a little bit better just because you have that energy and you just play up to it now. It's it's awesome. It definitely makes you more confident. Yeah. <laughs> makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Audrey, like she's 18, she's very young, and you know, she pulled up and came across with this story and they kept getting better and better and better. And they're both beautiful technical dancers, but as far as uh, chemistry and performance was going along, I wasn't sure about it. I think they both did an amazing job and I'm so proud of them. They definitely deserve that standing ovation tonight. I'm gonna be completely honest and I cannot wait to work with Cyrus. There's something about him. I love his worth ethic, first of all. I see the way the other choreographers are with him, and I'm so excited to... I have a song in mind for him, so I think there's a really cool concept I've kind of waited for uh, to get him. It's not getting easier, by all means, no. And yeah, I'm, I'm literally getting my training right now. Right now, as, like, as we speak, I'm going to leave and probably start dancing and training because... You know, we got we got big stuff in, in the works right now. Big stuff in the works. But yeah. he's doing an incredible job. It's amazing working with him because when we're <laughs> when we're in the studio, like if we're working on a move, he will go so hard on that move every time. You just see him like doing it to make sure he got he has it. He's such a hard worker. Amber is was I thought was super good at the Vimy's Waltz. Like she did so well and I knew that she could do it because it was so lyrical, contemporary and she was freaking out in the beginning, but I'm like, please please just trust me, like you can do it. And she did. She brought it. We brought it. I think having hip hop first out of the gate was scary at first because yeah. you're like, all right, I'm immediately out of my element. How am I going to handle this? But I think it really worked to our benefit because it kind of right off the bat showed America, hey, we're versatile. You can throw us a hip hop dance and we can handle it. We love to find that balance. We want to challenge them enough, but then we always want to make sure that they feel good enough that they're able to perform because half of it is their performance quality. If they can't perform it, then they're not going to be relatable. They're just doing movement. And, and the judges say it time and time again, yeah, you were fantastic, but you were blank. I definitely hope we make it far enough that we can get the chance to work with yeah. Sonia, my, one of my favorite, Mia Michaels, um, and Travis Wall, Ty Steorio. Um, those are the ones I obviously know. Like I, I, Seeing tonight how great like some of those other routines were, Jason Gilkinson and, and it's like wow so it's it's you know everyone's gonna be great we might get yeah. to work with our favorite next week so yeah. we'll see we'll see one yeah of our favorites. oh we have it's lots gonna be of good it's gonna be so. spicy i'm darian and i'm janelle and you're, and you're watching, watching dance, dance on, on.